Hello, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and in this video we're going to be customizing our chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online for our Shopify shop. So whenever you get QuickBooks Online, it's going to come with a chart of accounts. So those are basically the categories we're using when we're um, going through our bank feed and we're telling QuickBooks what buckets to put the money in. That's our chart of accounts. But it's always very just general when you first start with QuickBooks Online. And if you have a Shopify shop, then you're going to need to create some specific accounts for your Shopify store. So we're going to go through that in this video and I'm going to make it really easy for you because I have a downloadable CSV file for you and then look for another video where I'll, where I'll discuss exactly how to do the bookkeeping for your Shopify shop in a pretty quick and fast, easy way each month. Um, there's some quirks with Shopify, that's why it needs its own special video and we'll cover that separately. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's take a look at where the chart of accounts is. We're just in a sample company, QuickBooks Online, um, chart of accounts. And like I said, you're going to start off with some random chart of accounts. Some of them might be applicable to you and your business, and many are not going to be. Um, if we look in the income section here, I mean, there's no Shopify shop income, and we need to separate that out in our bookkeeping. So there's two ways that we can get to the location where we're going to add all of these accounts in bulk. Um, I have a separate video out there that talks about manually adding accounts and you can always do it that way but this CSV file is going to make it really fast and easy. Okay so there's two ways we can do this. We could come up here to new and import okay or we can come to here and tools and do import data. And in this case, we want chart of accounts. Same place. So um, once we're here, you're gonna need the CSV file. And to get that in the description, you'll see a link um, that will take you to um, where you can sign up to get the CSV file. So just click the link, go to the sign up page and then the CSV file will be emailed to you. So you can get it this that way. Okay, so now we're gonna browse for our CSV file. And I have it, I believe, already in my downloads section. Chart of accounts, Shopify, that's what it'll be called for you as well. Um, it should be in CSV file format. We'll hit next. And we already have um, this spelled out in the CSV file. Um, the field that I call detail type matches with detail type in QuickBooks, account name. I don't use account numbers um, and then type. So all of that is good to go. We've mapped our data. We're going to hit next. And then these are all of the accounts that we're bringing in. Um, the first one is something called Shopify Bank, and I'll go over that in more detail in the next video. Um, it's not another bank account. Um, it's just representative of the amount of money at the end of the month still held by Shopify. So there's a time lag between when you make a sale and when you get the deposit, and that difference is going to be recorded in our bookkeeping through what I call Shopify Bank. If you don't already have sales tax payable, we're going to add that account. Um, then we've got our income accounts. So we've got Shopify sales, and then these have other um, parts of Shopify sales. So discounts, this one is the actual sales of product. This one is going to be refunds, and this one is going to be shipping income. So we've got that all mapped out. Online tools um, and subscriptions, that's, a, that's an account I like to add because I think for online business owners, it summarizes more fully the types of transactions or the types of products that we're using every day. All of those monthly online subscriptions, it just seems to make sense that an account like that makes more sense in my head to categorize those there. Um, then we have to add some things for PayPal because most likely if you have a Shopify store, 
people are going to be paying through PayPal sometimes. And so we need to have a PayPal fee area if we don't already. And then over here we have our Shopify expenses um, and some of the fees that are involved with Shopify. So that's what we're going to be adding. So we're going to just go ahead and click import. And all of those have been added. So let's take a look. Accounting, chart of accounts. Let's come down to income. And here you can see how I've set it up is we've got Shopify sales as like the main header and then everything kind of neatly falls underneath and that's going to make it look really nice and pretty on your financial statements. Um, same with the expenses down here. We've got all of our different fees right here all within the same bucket of Shopify expenses. And once again, that just makes it look really nice on your profit and loss statement. Um, so that's all there is to it. Um, just click the link below. You'll get that CSV file. You can add all of these accounts really quickly and easily. And then you're going to be ready to go for the next video that shows you how to actually do the Shopify bookkeeping every month. Um, if you have a question, just leave it in the comments. And if this video was helpful, I would really appreciate your subscribe. Thanks.